and welcome back, you amazing people, to Empires of the Undergrowth Part 2. Now, as you can see, I did those little things I told you about. This is the hungry spider mode. No, was it the hungry, hungry spider? I think that's what it was called. But I hope you're ready for the cute thing. Because now, you get to see my queen with a little Christmas hat. Look at that. It's a kid. As you see, as I said, I was going to leave everything just sorted out here. Just so that you guys don't miss a second. But how nice is this music as well? See, like this mode, I could chill in for ages but of course we don't have that kind of time as well so we are going to expand I'm out of territory points So, one thing I can say about the Formicarium is because since you don't get attacked, except for the Formicarium challenge, then you have to literally fight for your life. That's why you always try to collect as much food as possible. You get a nice big storage chamber, upgrade it. 50 worker ants and 50 soldiers. That is literally what I recommend for the first one. And also, don't fight out here. <laughs> it's pointless. You will get swarmed and you will die. Fight where you have the advantage. Over here. Okay, yeah, so let's start getting more. Because, as I said, hold on. Hmm. And also, I don't need to worry about my food getting low in this because, when, as you've seen, when you do a mission, they reward you with so much food. <laughs> Actually, yeah. So let's go back to getting this area nice and big now because now we have quite a lot of ants working. But I love this. I can't get over that. <laughs> You see, the amazing thing is we still have so much food to go through. You know, also, let's grab that guy. I mean, that's food. I'm not letting food go to waste. Good job. Now go get that one. While I get more. Okay, so that's... 39 worker ants so far. That is not bad. And food. Go get it. Now, as you can see, I have no more territory space. But I still I still have tons of food. So in these kind of situations, what you would like to do is this. You go to your build menu, you don't click that, unless you want to get rid of everything. But the upgrade tool, as you can see, all my sixes, because all of them are pretty much next, right next to each other. Now we're going to upgrade it. Just watch how my storage for the food grows. As you can see, now the food storage is looking nice. 
very nice. Now let's upgrade these three as well, because they can now. See that? Look at that. We're almost on a thousand stories. Now, do you see now that there's def we'll definitely have enough space for all this food. Now while we wait, while they keep doing that, let me start ex uh, showing you this. This is of course your queen, your worker ant, and your black ants. So pretty much these are the warriors that you saw in the last game, but I don't have access to them now unless I pay the royal jelly cost. But what I would rather have is that, because I, don't, I know how these work. That one, it's kind of like, alright, because I mean, they only last for 60 seconds, whereas this one, they spawn their own eggs. Eggs will instantly hatch, and hatch for free. I mean, there's nothing else to reconsider, right? But so we're almost here with the food. Cause I always like to make sure I grabbed everything just before I start the next mission. So that's almost. Oh wait. Okay, so we can, by the looks of it, we can actually upgrade it again. Look at that. And now. Now look at that. <laughs> now you see that's made a huge difference. But now I think actually let's go to the tech tree first. Yeah, so I think let's take that because I mean, look at that. So pretty much there either stronger or as strong as warriors now then nah let's see yeah that one looks also quite nice so we'll take that but now one thing I can say is as well you gotta get used to doing these quite a bit which is why after we do that we're gonna go back here and we're gonna do the challenge mode because then we get extra jelly and extra food territory, you know the rule. Like, I'm pretty sure you understand the basics now. I mean, look how much food you're gonna get from that. So I think let's go straight into it. Mm. Oh no. Crap. This Formica Fusca Black Ant Queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers establish their new territory in the earth, above ground, a nearby colony of Formica sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the black ant colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, they may be wiped out entirely. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of Formica singles. sanguinea are not the only danger for the fledgling colony. There is something even more sinister nearby, lurking in the darkness. I see. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Actually, let's also do this. Let's get this area open. Because this is where I like to build my my warriors. I see what's beautiful is. Yep. 
Oh. Okay. So yeah, I forgot that I actually have to build quite a lot. So let me get a decent, decentish area. That should be good. Actually, we'll leave that. That that'll be good. But in this one, as you can see, we also want workers, so we're going to do that. Now let's see. Yeah. Let's go for this one first. Actually, hold on. Grab the food first. And also, we can start getting this area open. We'll open here as well. There we go, and there we go, because we're going to need all the ants now just for this. Okay, let's take that off. Go. Sugestria Florentina, a funnel web spider. She is large, fast, <sighs> and equipped with a deep, powerful bite. Her lair is carpeted by sheets of silk woven between tripwires that radiate out from the entrance. She can detect even the slightest vibrations with her sensitive legs. Any ant that strays too close will be snapped away in the blink of an eye. Wait, aren't you going to say how I just destroyed her now? And then... Predators are loose however. in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Hey, A that's my food. scout has sensed the presence of the black ants. Crap. A raid on the colony is now inevitable. The question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young, or wipe out the colony entirely. In the end, it will come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. By working together, the ants have overwhelmed one of the funnel web spiders. There we go. She won't be causing any more trouble for the colony. Her sisters, however, still present a there problem. There it is. Not as much of a as a problem than those sanguinea ants. <laughs> I'm telling you. There are intruders in the nest. No. Stop going there, please. We still haven't collected all the food in this area. I just opened that to be... Well, so that we could... Ah, oh, shit. We're going to have to defend the next... The first raid. Go. Here we go. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. I forgot to... Sort... Get my hatchery sorted out. Oh, no. The raiding party has arrived. The slave makers will head straight for the brood chambers. They must be stopped. No. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. And they will pay for it. The Fusca colony must replenish quickly Go. if they are to survive the next assault. Now let's start grabbing food.
Hold on a minute. Let's do this. Now that is perfect, because that'll be... Well, that's ready, pretty much. Predators are loose Go. in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh, this is already half of the map cleared. Still looking pretty good. Oh boy. Um. Oh boy. Why? Why? <laughs> They're coming. Thank you. The Sanguinea colony seeks once again to bolster yeah, its numbers. Kill the ones that are moving. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe. For now. I told you they would pay. They paid with their lives. Okay, now as you can see, there's four here. So that's going to make things a little interesting. No, no, you're going too far. And there we go. Okay, now we just swarm. Just keep swarming. Go. Perfection. There we go. Well, I'm going to try to clear the whole map for you guys before I do that. But also, I there think it's time. In the nest. Come on, guys. Get in position. The Sanguinea colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. There we go. No, they got away with some. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The danger may be gone for now. But this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. Beautiful. But as you can see, they're not scared to show you to throw spiders in immediately. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. 
All right, everybody, you know your positions. Son of a bitch. Okay, stay in there. I'll deal with you when we're done with this. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. God damn it. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. The Queen must lay quickly to return the colony to its former strength. Oh, she's trying. I'll give her that. But there we go. Okay, so let's get everybody to regroup now. There are intruders in the nest. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. And there we go. Ah, crap. The Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. There we go. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. There are intruders in the nest. As you can see, everyone's either there are intruders in the nest. <laughs> Insta death. And look at that. Look how much food is still waiting. Attack. Fall back. <sighs> the slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. Well, too bad. Don't dare think you're getting out of here alive. The raid
raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remained safe. Yeah. Do you want it to take my lava? Oh, my lava. Eh? As you can see, we're literally almost done. I mean, all I have to do is build one worker. So I'm just clearing these, all of these by choice. <laughs> Okay, let's start, let's just start getting all of this side sorted out. I just want to get there. There are intruders Go. in the nest. Go. Is that all the food? This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Okay, we're good. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remained safe for now. That no, you can't deny. <laughs> if you had an ant colony and you saw this coming towards you, what would you do? Funny enough, if I actually built uh, the worker pit just before I killed that other wave, it would have finished. But you know what? I figured, let's make it a little more challenging for them. Well, now we have, now we're full on food by the looks of it. So, there we go. And look at that, the next wave is already coming. Oh wait, we're done harvesting food. You're dead. <laughs> None of you will get through. I guarantee that. Oh, I can't wait. There we go. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Already went through that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Your colony is next. Once again, the slave makers return to their nest with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great Black Ant Empire. Oh yeah. Of course, we're going to take the jelly again, because we still have a lot of upgrades to go. And we get so much food, and we get, we get little bits of territory that just add up and it, oh my god we're so close and almost ready for the formicarium challenge just needs so much jelly How is the colony progressing 
The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behavior. The yeah, that was actually my plan. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. So, with. Okay, so we might need a bigger food store after this. And there we go, that's already the 50 workers. But yeah, so I think I'm going to end this one here. To all you amazing people, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. Also, if you're new, please also smack that like button. Button, oh my god. So, just was thinking about this and I'm very thirsty. Let me just t actually take a sip. Ah, so much better. And also if you're new and you're enjoying my channel so far, hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it. You'll get notified whenever there's a new video. But to all you amazing people, may you have a good one and enjoy the rest of your day. Till next time!